Well, that's a little bit of papers this morning with the novelist Polly Courtney and Daily Mirror sports journalist Darren Lewis. Morning, both. Morning. Are you having a, f a nice final day of the year? Yes, yeah, yeah. it's pretty good, actually. We're a bit of an early start, but it means yeah, you'll get to make the most mind. of it. <laughs> it's not 2013 with a lion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it's funny, isn't it? But this time of year, we often find you know, the news goes a bit quiet. There's not a lot going on. Not always, not every year, of course. But uh, certainly this year, there are lots of things to talk about. We start, Polly, with uh, the front of The Guardian, should we? Yes. Um, and looking at their story on cosmetic treatment, and obviously these new rules that that are going to be look like they're going to be brought in. But, I mean, some of the detail in what has been going on is actually really shocking. That is exactly what I was going to pick out, actually. Did you know that at the moment it's, it's perfectly OK for surgeons to basically offer two-for-one deals and um, bring a friend and you get your, your surgery done at a discount and uh, first consultation free and then if you sign up on the day then you get further discounts? I mean, that is just surely preying on on vulnerable, mainly women, but men and women. We've got a lot of tweets that say there, there are competitions to win things like laser yes. eye surgery. I've seen that. In, like in that. the past, there's been lads mates where it's sort of win, win breast enhancements for, for your, your girlfriend. girlfriend yeah. I mean, that is just shocking. And it really, it's high time this rubby industry got cleaned up. I mean, I know a lot of people will be out there thinking, well, actually, if anyone's stupid enough or um, kind of insecure enough to want to go for this and go under the knife, then, you know, it's up to them. They should check out their the surgeon and, and, and all that. But you have to remember that actually not all of this is done for vanity reasons. Some cosmetic oh, surgery no. is done post-operation and, and out of necessity. So, But it's also the idea, Darren, isn't it, in all of this, that you know, it would seem 17-year-olds are being bombarded with text mm. or spam text, if you like, saying it's only a year till you can have cosmetic surgery. Absolutely. I mean, this is a summary of more than 180 submissions from doctors and patient groups and industry representatives. And basically, uh, the point being made by Dennis Campbell in this piece is that uh, it's an industry putting profits before welfare, safety, or any kind of duty of care. Part of the problem is that the impressionable youngsters on whom they are bombarded with, with whom they are bombarding this information, are actually tapping into it and actually bombarding people uh, who should have probably better concern for their welfare. It's sort of saying, look. I do want this, I do need this, and, we, and they're being convinced somehow that it's that's important right. to I them. mean, every day there are messages in the, in the press and in everything that we see, particularly for women, I have to say, particularly with women's magazines, but basically that say, you need to look like this perfect person. And actually, you know, it's, it's not just the, the point of um, sort of um, opting into surgery where there's pressure. There's pressure every day, and I think that there needs to be um, a hard look at at everything that we are putting on young people, but not just the uh, the surgery options. It's all the whole idea of everyone having to look perfect all the time. Yes. Yes. And they're being so readily available, it's, you know, it's being treated like going for a facial That's or right. something yes. like that. Well, well, it's interesting, I mean, you, you, did, you talked about the roundup of 2013, and the last 12 months have been characterised by uh, instances in which people have gone for cosmetic surgery, but done it the wrong way, and ended up, sort of, in some cases, being fatally uh, mistaken. And yeah, left out in the cold. Absolutely. Uh, talking of sparkle, Darren, <laughs> um, in the mail this morning, uh, we've got a new baby to look forward to. Have, For yes. the nation, I hate to, it sounds a bit of an old thing to say to a baby, you know what I mean? Well, Sam um, Jane was talking about this earlier, um, about uh, a new baby to look forward to in 2013. Uh, the Middletons are party planners, and uh, they've been selling these little prince plates. Uh, they were... Two pounds fifteen. And now they're one point sixty nine. One pound sixty nine. Uh, so make of that what you will, boy or girl. But a lot of people say uh, the male are saying, I should say, that maybe the Middletons are cashing in on the royal baby. And I think that's quite unfair. But they're party planners. Why would you expect them not to be selling anything relating? Oh, you find the princess. I think it's well. good to see people being enterprising. Actually, absolutely. And it's not hurting anyone. They criticised for putting out royal jubilee uh, party wear as well. well but everybody was trying to buy royal jubilee party wear. So if that's what they do as a business, that's what they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's really, really unfair. I mean, it's on their website. Um, I don't think it needs that much advertising, so I won't mention it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the Daily Mail uh, basically is going through a range of things that feature on the website and suggesting that uh, that they are cashing in, in the words of Keith Gladys, on the royal pregnancy. That's what companies yeah. do, yeah. cash in. And I think they were That's doing quite well before yes. Kate Middleton became the Duchess yes. of Cambridge. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit unfair, to be honest. There have been little princess and little prince bits of tat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> you can buy. Well, do you know what I mean? I mean, you know, the, the bibs and the nails and the cups. And the, I mean, I've bought loads of it over the years. A career in jewellery awaits <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the front of the Telegraph. 
Should we? Dear me. Um, <laughs> here we go. Gay marriage law. Yes, less scary. Um, I think we all know that the Catholic Church is, uh, well, certain members of the Catholic Church are very vocal in their opposition to gay marriage. And uh, Reverend Vincent Nichols, the Archbishop of uh, Westminster, has written to his um, the parishioners saying that they should all write to their MPs um, in strong, calm, forceful words um, outlining their concerns in, a, in an attempt to change MPs' minds and therefore um, up the vote against gay marriage. Just, and, and his reasoning, he is, there's obviously got to be a new angle, and this new angle is that it gives schools the wrong message, it's giving children the wrong message, that marriage is bad if it's between certain people. I just, I'm, I shouldn't wade into this, but I'm going to. No, I'm think, confused. It, it, in endorsing marriage for people who are who like people of the same sex yes. is somehow bad. It's bad. That is. That's well, so the input, if you're saying that's wrong for schools, what you're saying is that if you yes. are gay or lesbian, then you are choosing that, and you don't want you don't want to encourage children to become as though it is an illness, as we used to think <laughs> the, the, about. The, the one thing I, years that, ago. That, that, I mean, I was listening to Andrew Pierce talking about this the other night. He was saying, well. Gay and lesbian people have civil partnerships, so why would they want to have marriage? And, 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 and you know, he, he made the point that he was actually against it uh, for that reason. I suppose the bigger, yeah, the bigger question is, um, do we need marriage if we have civil partnerships in general? Um, and therefore, you know, may, maybe I, I would probably, I would definitely turn down a church church marriage um, if I if I had the option. If I was gay, just because uh, you know, I just don't want to. Get involved in it, but the, the fact that well, the for those who hold there, religious views that's right. and who want to get married because yeah. that's what they've and a lot of churches, other churches feel that it is perfectly you know that they should offer this as a yeah. as a service.